So that is just a rumor being circulating on the web and people nothing like that. Hey peeps, to God bless you, Gaza Diva, and welcome back to the Blessed D Gaza Diva channel. And people, what we're going to talk about today is Vibes Cartel and I Octane name being called and I Octane responding. <laughs> Let me tell you something, people. I have to put the Vibes Cartel news out there because a lot of people are going to run in my DM. Oh, you don't see Vibes Cartel name calling. We're going to talk about it. We're going to reason about it. Let's kick it. <laughs> You're not like anyone else You find the way you are Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room Send us up to the time, you know it's cartel Representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva A main prosecution witness has alleged that incarcerated dancehall entertainer Vibes Cartel had prompted the Andre Blackman Bryan led faction of the Klansman gang to carry out three hits, including on a fellow entertainer. The witness says Cartel's orders resulted in two people being murdered in Waterford in Portmore. According to the witness, an attempt was made on the life of entertainer but failed. The witness delivered the bombshell revelation during his testimony in the one Don Klansman anti gang trial in the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston today. When we asked who ordered the hits, the witness told the court, this instruction was given to me by Vibes Cartel, by phone. The witness made the disclosure while he gave evidence about accused gangster Jazeel, Blake. Blake is otherwise known as Squeeze Eye. According to the witness, Blake was the driver when the double took place and the attempt on the life of the artist. The witness also testified that Blackmon Bryan had sent him to monitor one of Cartel's video shoots. According to the witness, the video was recorded on McKinley Crescent in St. Andrew. The witness says the video which the one done faction of the Klansman gang was asked to supervise was for Cartel's hit song, Bokopina. Did we expect Vibes Cartel name not to be called? No. Because it wouldn't be as enthralling and it wouldn't be as captivating if Vibes Cartel name never called. Now to the story with I Octane. Clansman gangsters made multiple visits to the studio of dancehall artist witness claim. The second ex-member of the St. Catherine-based Clansman gang turned state informant on Tuesday morning referenced multiple visits by himself and alleged leader of the gang, Andre Blackman Bryan, to the St. Andrew studio of dancehall artist I explain real name, Bayumi Muir. According to the witness, who resumed his testimony in trial involving 33 accused members of the criminal outfit, while at the studio, I obtain would be recording. More than one time, we went to the studio, the witness said, adding that the facility was located on Don Robin Avenue off Constant Spring Road at a plaza near to a car mart. He made the disclosure in the course of identity. They accused Fabian Johnson, otherwise called Crocs, who he said accompanied himself and Brian on those nighttime visits. In the meantime, the ex-gang member also told the court how he called a CTOC investigator with whom he was in contact following a conversation with Brian and another top member of the gang, only so far identified, only so far identified as City Post, during which he received instructions to collect a gun, which was being held by the accused Royal Taylor. The witness had last week told the court that in 2018, he approached police investigators to out the gang. He said investigators had been disbelieving him when he told them that Brian, who was an incarcerated, had who was then incarcerated, had actually called him from a private number from the confines of the prison. He said while in their presence, he received a call from Brian and put the phone on speaker so they could hear Brian speaking to him for themselves, at which point they realized he had not lied. <laughs> okay, people. So the two cases now. So let's go to what I obtained posted one of his famous songs to say don't vote for sugar, don't vote for salt. Vote for Stop vote for bread. And this is what his comment read. He said, after reading this and see what them say about me, where and how am I a criminal? People, me never know say voicing music for an established recording company is a crime. My boss from 
me at 16 or 17. Over 15 more years now. And me did a voice for so many ghetto labels. Boss enough ghetto youths who are produce music from the ghetto and never involve or mention in any criminal activities. Just let me clarify something that I see on the net. First thing, not escort me to studio. Do your research. People in the music can tell you I have my own recording studio. So when anybody wants to do any form of recording, then meet me at studio. Next thing, why would I do it, be doing crime and have my little daughter at a crime scene? So if having my daughter who loves music at my studio when I'm recording so she can learn more plus voicing for a known recording company, where is the crime? Okay, then this means that the majority of Jamaican artists are criminal then. I am one of the biggest Jamaican superstars for years now. So let me tell you this. I have come across over my 15 years, no feud who in a badness because of their background, but come to me and say, DJ, help take me out of badness. Note, I don't know nothing about them badness, but them ask for help just to record a song on a rhythm so they can get into producing and me now go tell no lies. Me record for them over and over because I want to show them say life no stop a badness. Jones Avenue Records is big recording label and multiple artists have done recording for them. So how I obtain is a criminal to do the same. Shrug shoulders. One. When it's election time and I sing dubs for politicians on both sides, that don't mean me into politics. Two, when politicians keep the rally parties and me go sing for free, that don't mean me vote. Me never vote yet. Three, when police are keep them party at the station and me go sing free, that don't mean me I carry info to them. Four, when badness keep them ghetto shows and enough artists including myself go, that don't mean me in a badness. So, question mark, people, all I'll say to you is this. Wallipa people want here survives cartel involving a clansman so them can get for say, oh yes, a particular this and particular that with a warning. And I said this long time. All me have to tell you is this Vibes cartel is innocent, and Vibes cartel is innocent for the crime on a claim, same do. And it's simple as that. Anything you want to say, you want to say, all you want to jump up and say, Gaza Diva a bad, bad man, so be it. I can go into the station and I can testify and I can say, oh yes, Vibes Cartel did this and Vibes Cartel ordered this and Vibes Cartel did that. Okay, where is the proof? Where is the evidence that Vibes Cartel did all of this? Yes, my name says Gaza Diva and it is what it is and it never will change. Anything and anyone I want to bring down Vibes Cartel, so be it to Uno. And anyone I want to want say me have Vibes Cartel back, Uno know if you do already. Me not beg Uno for stay, right? So all me can say to Uno is Vibes Cartel is innocent until proven guilty. And Uno want to say improven guilty for Lizard Weir. When? How? I'll know. When I see it. That's why it's going to the appellate court. Make the man run it in course. Make the man go through him normal procedures. And it is what it is. As it relates to I Octane, he makes some very valid point. Entertainers, no bad man. All politicians, no bad man. The most bad man in Jamaica were funded by politicians. And that's not a if, but a maybe. And as soon as them want to talk with them, do them send man go take them out. So at the end of the day, I act in right. You do songs for these people. People because more while you're in our community, the man them say them want a tune. To his point, them want come out of badness. Them want to do this. Them want to ray. And them get associated with certain things. Anyway, people, tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. And as per usual, we'll have a discussion. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit notification bell. And if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button and send us out. I'm out.